Motor City Madman rolls into town this summer on the Midwest Rock and Roll Express, but right now you can help him help kids. He assigned a one-of-a-kind guitar, which is being auctioned off to support artists for autism. The online auction starts today, and 7 Action News anchor Stephen Clark was with the Nuge for the autograph session. <laughs> It works! They call him the Motor City Madman, for good reason. Ted Nugent lives on a planet in a slightly different orbit than the rest of us. Are you kidding me? When was the last time, when was the last time Bruce Springsteen signed a box of ammo? He's well known for his survivalist brand of conservatism that unabashedly embraces guns and hunting just about anything that moves. And if I got to come out on a nasty old cold Michigan winter day to hang out with people killing pigs, it's perfect. Are you kidding me? But what you might miss in his primordial rock and roll persona, Ted Nugent has a really big heart. And if it's for the children, and if it's for the military, we always raise massive amounts of cash with these incredibly generous donations. So whether it's a guitar or a gun or a bow or a bloody arrow or a shank or carcass, I actually sign shanks and haunches. <laughs> has Tom Petty ever signed a shank? Today I've traveled out past Jackson to Ted Sunrise Ranch to talk to him about signing this guitar. And to take this incredible one-of-a-kind All-American rhythm and blues rock and roll master guitar animal and I'm gonna put the big old greasy Uncle Ted signature on it just to make sure that it never plays any Caucasian music the guitar was donated by Peavy customized by John Rios and Rich Wright to raise money for artists for autism somehow there's always some kind of connectivity with autism uh, and kids with autism with the arts and the guitar is uniquely Ted Nugent. Do you know the uh, origin of these bear claws? Are you a Michigan bear? Upstate New York. Upstate New York. So we're probably committing a felony bringing... <laughs> Good. <laughs> which is typical of the federal government. They would find something wrong with donating a renewable resource to raise money for children. In Jackson County, Stephen Clark 7, Action News.